Again, I'm Onil Ramos. I'm from Dell Technologies. Okay, been uh, been with Dell Technologies for four years already, right? Doing partner enablement and helping out customers in their uh, deal opportunities as well in uh, creating solutions for our customers. So I'll be discussing our, our power store storage. This is our latest uh, storage that we have. It's a mid-range storage designed for the data era. But before I proceed with that, let me have uh, let me show you some discuss a bit of background of what's happening right now. So economy actually is going digital, which is true, especially nowadays, right? Um, we've been uh, working remotely uh, uh, with this kind of situation that we have right now. So most of, majority, you know, almost all of the organizations has been affected. And those with uh, some sort of a digital technology, right, has embraced digital transformation within their organization are still able to thrive. Okay, because they can still operate, they can work from home, right? But those traditional ones that they, they don't that, uh, that don't have this kind of technology within are drastically affected. Right? So their operations can no longer uh, be you know uh, hundred percent. Some are some are even working be below fifty percent. But uh, of course, this is the future. Right? So data is growing rapidly. Okay, uh, it's predicted to. Uh, to uh, increase by 163 zettabytes in 2025. And with that, right, it will need storage. It will need storage, okay? You will need uh, certain uh, devices, okay, uh, infrastructure to handle, manipulate, and store those data, okay? And uh, some are also looking at towards uh, multi-cloud or hybrid uh, implementation within their organizations. So uh, again, every company organization should transform. Okay, but before they can uh, transform digitally, they need to transform their data center. They should uh, venture into IT transformation first, right? They have to ready their infrastructure, okay, prepare it so that they it can adapt, okay, and it can accommodate all the new next generation next generation applications that they have. So these are the pillars of IT transformation. Of course, you need a, a modern infrastructure, flash enabled, scale out, right? All these things, uh, cloud enabled to be able to support uh, the organization, right? Uh, especially on the workloads, uh, their IT roadmap, if they want to venture into uh, different types of uh, offerings for customers. So the infrastructure should be able to support that, okay? And of course, modern and consistent operations. Plus, of course, modern services and delivery. Okay, within uh, with the expertise on how to deploy. Okay, and uh, yeah, uh, support your infrastructure so that uh, IT will be a key. Okay, it's a key uh, key. Uh, uh, what you call this? It's uh, one of the key sources, no? for an organization to become successful. Gone are the days that IT is uh, being considered as a cost center. It's actually one of the strategic okay, uh, part of an organization for them to become competitive in the market and be able to expand and uh, grow their market okay, and their organization. So these are the value drivers actually. Right? Data capital, okay? it's becoming valuable and you need the storage a reliable storage, okay, efficient storage to store those data. Wherein you, you manipulate those data, you can easily access those data, okay, so that uh, it can provide better, uh, you can monetize actually your data out. Because, okay, uh, and then of course it should be supported by this uh, modern infrastructure. Okay. okay. So whether your strategic business is towards analytics, right, digital experiences, or application digital transformation, IoT, AI. Okay, so you will need data, and for sure you will need storage for that. Okay. Now, uh, now nowadays we're seeing a mixture of uh, applications. We have traditional and next generation apply, uh, applications. They are coexisting in some organizations, okay? especially those large organizations. Okay? Even the Digital organizations, right? Those uh, the likes of uh, digital mall, right? Lazada, Shopee, Amazon. They have this kind of infrastructure. 
Okay. They have the next gen applications running. They have even mobile applications, right? They have analytics on that, AI, and of course, and those infrastructure, those data, okay? And those data are being manipulated, okay? And uh, stored on a certain infrastructure. And they still have databases for sure, okay? So those part is uh, the traditional one, the platform two applications, and the next gen are the platform three applications, okay? So it will coexist and you need a reliable, consistent infrastructure to support those uh, workloads. Okay. Again, this is just our vision. Okay, we just, we just want to empower your IT, harness the power of your data, and of course, achieving peace of mind because as you all know, the EMC has the DNA storage, right? The expertise are there. We have an end-to-end -end solution. We have an autonomous uh, uh, solution infrastructure that uh, has been introduced since we're number one globally for that matter okay so we have a, a, an array of a storage portfolio just to mention right but i'll be discussing more on the power store which is our latest storage okay? introducing the power store again the same for the data era so it's a data centric okay these are the three pillars you know, of uh, our power store okay it's data centric intelligent and adaptable Okay, to drill down further on the data centric uh, pillar of our power store. Okay. So you can see here, it can accommodate any workload. It is optimized for performance and of course efficiency, you know, without compromise by pro providing data reduction. Okay, always on inline data reduction capability. So these are, uh, these features, okay, will benefit I mean the your applications your workloads will, will benefit on these features okay as you can see here we can see hey on the left side we have the relational databases erp these are the platform two applications right traditional applications even eda eda right uh you know, electronic medical records uh, consistent repository because our storage okay, if you're familiar with our vnx or unity uh, it's a unified storage and our power store. Okay, we have also have a model that is unified storage that can cater to these different types of workloads. Okay. And again, it's a uh, it, the technology behind it. We're using NVMe. It's an NVMe all flash storage array. Okay. So we support this uh, dip, uh, different protocols, right? We have fiber channel connectivity and iSCSI for your front end connectivity, host connectivity. Okay. And then we on the back end, we also have the NVMe over front. Okay. So uh, imagine the speed and the performance that an NVMe has compared to a SAS SSD. Right? And of course, NFS and SMD for content and repository and home directories for file system. Okay. So it can function as both black and NAS. As you can see here, right? This is a, a 2U appliance. Okay, we know we no longer call it array, it's an appliance. Okay, the controllers we call it uh we call it nodes, right? So th there are two nodes within an appliance, okay? So it's a uh, highly redundant. And then of course it's already container based. We support container applica no, applications as well, Kubernetes, all those things. So we can support traditional and next gen applications running on this particular array. Okay. And in terms of performance optimization, comparing to the previous model that we have, right, uh, storage uh, model that we have, it's seven times faster and three times lower latency. Why? Because we're using NVMe. Okay. The technology behind this is NVMe end to end. Okay. And then we can we have an option to use flash disk or SCM storage class memory disk. As you can see here, okay, the array, it's an all NVMe based drives using as uh, storage class memory or flash SSD drives. So you can see here there are two controllers or we call it two nodes. The power store operating system is a container based operating system installed within directly on the nodes. Okay. And it's be it can be able to scale up and scale out a okay, multi dimensional scaling. Okay. Some array, some storage, okay, can just uh, scale up, but our solution can both scale up and scale out. Okay? 
So you can add more capacity. Okay. And you can add performance by adding another appliance, as you can see here. And the beauty of this one, you can independently scale okay, each of the appliance. As, as you can see on the graph here, there are several, uh, there are different configurations. Okay, Configuration one, it's fully populated. They have, uh, it has uh, expansion enclosure. Okay, Appliance number two only has two expansion enclosure. Okay? And ex uh, appliance number three has three additional enclosure expansion. And appliance number four, just one expansion. Just one array without ex uh, expansion enclosure, right? So if you want to increase the capacity of this one, you can add additional enclosure. Okay. So this is how we can uh, provide better performance by scaling out your array. We can support up to four, up to four appliances in a single array. And it's I mean it's like a single cluster. Okay. And then you, because of our online the inline data reduction, right? We can support four is to one data reduction, and we can even reach up to twenty is to one depending on the types of data. So imagine the efficiency and the total cost of ownership, right? We can low, meaning a one terabyte physical capacity can become twenty terabyte. Okay, but in this case, by default, we're using four is to one. Your one TB will be equivalent to four terabyte effective capacity because of our intelligent always eat on inline data reduction. As you can see on the on the slide, right, we have several dots here. We will just store in one instance of the of that particular data that is the duplication. And as you go along here, it becomes smaller. We can compress it. We're compressing the data as well before it is written on the disk. Okay. So going to our intelligent uh, pillar, okay? Intelligent meaning it's uh, programmable, okay? It's an autonomous appliance and it also has proactive health analytics, okay? So the second pillar of uh, design pillar of power store are this, okay? So it helps streamline your uh, your DevOps and operations, right? Uh, provisioning of storage and then in terms of autonomous appliance, right? we have a built, it has a built in optimization machine learning that optimize, optimizes the resources. OK, so there is a load sort of a load balancing capability within the array that's inherent. And we also have this cloud IQ monitoring okay? that you can that allows you to proactively monitor okay, your uh, your array whether you're uh, within your office or outside of the office. Okay. Going to our programmable uh, infrastructure, okay. our, our storage supports all this. Right? We have, uh, ver we, we have uh, integration with the uh, vRealize operations of VMware. We, can, we have Kubernetes, okay. the CSI plugins, the container storage interface. Okay. And then we also have Ansible, the playbooks. You can also integrate that for automation, thereby okay, simplifying your storage resources provisioning from, from uh, operation side and the DevOps side. Okay. So again, it allows you to automate your provisioning processes. Okay. And of course, minimize, eliminate or minimize your uh, manual steps of, uh, pro, of consuming, okay, provisioning the storage resources to the DevOps team. And of course, you can it allows you to uh, 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 sort of uh, shorten the period you know, of deploying. Instead of deploying within an hour or a day for you to do, to provide the services and the the resources that the DevOps team would want, then through this automation okay, integration, it can deploy resources in seconds versus hours or days. Okay. Again, as mentioned, it's an autonomous appliance. Okay? It has a built-in machine learning. So, for example, <clears throat> you started with uh, a single appliance. Okay? And then later on, you added additional appliance. You, ex you uh, ex expanded it, you scale it out. Okay? Added another appliance in the cluster. It will automatically discover okay, new resources. Okay? And then through machine learning, it will do load balancing. It will do an intelligent data placement. Okay? It, 
You can do that, okay? It can be automated or it can be semi-automatic, okay? So it can provide recommendation and it's up for the administration administrator to uh, execute that, okay? So this is how it goes, right? So it's auto autonomous. So again, it eliminates the that tedious task right, of uh, for the for the storage admin to move to monitor okay and uh, move the volumes manually right for example there's an application that requires more more performance they have to move that uh, volume manually okay so there are some manual tasks that they have to do but in this case through machine learning okay our appliance can do that automatically for you okay so continuous efficiency and monitoring and optimization so uh, less less uh, task right, for the administration administrator so they can focus more on more creating more innovation or improving further okay, their it or data center okay. again uh, as mentioned also it comes with the cloud iq this is our cloud-based utility analytics it's free as long as you have a valid support Okay, and uh, you enable the call home feature. Okay, so it allows you, you know, to monitor your array from anywhere, even outside of the office, even out uh, if you're out of the country. Okay, you're working from home, you can still monitor as long as you have inter internet connection. Again, it just browse. It is just a browser based. Just go to the to the website, Cloud IQ site, and then log in, and you can monitor your array. In fact, you can monitor different Dell EMC storage using Cloud IQ, not just power store. Practically everything, every storage that we have, okay, primary storage, the power max, okay, even the older models, even the OS, okay, even the other brands, uh, other models of uh, storage, right? And we have, uh, we call this a uh, mobile application. You can download using uh, on Google Store or uh, Apple Play Store. We support both Android and iOS. So it's a very useful tool for the for the administration uh, administrator. Okay. So you can have uh, monitoring, okay, performance analysis, anomaly detection. Okay? You can plan ahead. Okay, all those things. So it provides you some insights as well. So we now have support for Connectrix, even the sun switch you can monitor down down to the port level. Okay. Uh, for the storage, of course, these are the other storage that we support through Cloud IQ. Leverage this tool. Okay? Use this tool. It's free. Okay, nothing to download and install. And uh, it's a value, you know, it's a valuable tool for you as an administrator. Okay. So you can see here you can also detect competing workloads okay you can see the performance graphs iops latency and uh, all these things now going to its uh, adaptable uh, architecture design right so we have uh, three pillars actually flexible architecture and uh, flexible deployment okay i'll discuss this later on for the flexible consumption also okay you have a choice of uh, consumption how do you want to consume this Okay. Going further to our container-based architecture, again, power store, part of the flexible architect architecture design. The operating system, the operating system of power store is container-based. Okay. So you can see here each of the functionality runs as a, as a container. So what's the benefit of this one? Right? It's like a, your Grab application, right? It, initially it started with a with taxi hailing, right? Now we have a lot of features on your Grab application because it's because of the DevOps technology. Right? So they modularize it, can run on the container. Right? You can just download an uh, download update, and then later on you now have Grab Grab Food, Grab Delivery, and Grab Pay. So that is this, a similar no, no? Uh, concept that we have on our Power Store OS. Each of the functionality is being run on a separate container. So we can immediately innovate. If there are new technologies that we need to adapt, it can easily adapt. Okay. So that's the beauty of this one. Okay. So again, consistency, consistency, modularity, and of course, you future-proofing your uh, your uh, investment. Okay, on our power store. Okay. So this is the power store OS. We have 
two ano, two types of deployment, right? For the Power Store T series, it's a bare metal, meaning the Power Store OS is are uh, is installed within the within the nodes of the appliance. Okay. And then another deployment is through VMware, meaning the Power Store OS is running as a virtual machine on top of a VMware ESXi. This is the Power Store X series model. Okay. So we have two flavors for Power Store. The Power Store T series, bare metal with wherein the Power Store OS is in, is installed directly on the nodes. Okay. And it's can, it can scale up to four appliance per cluster. Okay. The Power Store X series, we're leveraging, we're using VMware ESXi. Okay. There's an, an ESXi running on the nodes, and then the Power Store OS runs as a VM. Okay. The beauty of this one, okay, it it allows you to install, to run your application or your VMs directly within the array. We call that feature apps on. Okay. This apps on feature allows you, okay to run your applications directly into the array. Okay, 50% of the resources will be allotted for the virtual machine. 50% will be allotted for the storage, okay, for the storage appliance. So question, for example, you're already running a virtual machine directly on this particular storage, uh, no, storage appliance, power store appliance. This is the X series, okay. Can, can I still connect an external cluster or a physical server to consume the storage of this appliance. Yes, you can do that. Okay, you can connect it via iSCSI or fiber 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 channel. You can have another three-tier architecture of virtualization here. You can have a physical server, a Linux or Windows server connected to via iSCSI or fiber channel, and still you you also have this virtual machine running directly on our power store appliance. Okay. So it's called uh, apps on. You can run it, uh, your, your application running directly. Use case for data in intensive and demanding workloads. Okay. So this is another no, one if one of the unique unique feature of our power store. Okay. Again, deployment, okay, deployment type, the way you consume this one. Okay. So you can deploy on the edge to on the core. On even to on the no no in cloud the uh, cloud natin no enablement pwede tayo dyan. we can do that so in power store for example instead of instead of deploying a uh, an array okay uh, power store storage a sun storage and another server on an, an edge location you might want to consider just running power store and run, using power store in apps on capability you can now have a virtual machine running within the appliance eliminating the need for a storage, I mean, for a server, physical server, okay? So reducing your footprint, okay? Reducing the rack space requirement, power and consumption, okay? So you can also do that, okay? You can deploy it on the edge, okay? You can deploy it on the core. On the edge, you can run all these applications, right? You can see here, IoT, analytics, all these things, and ERP and automation, okay? It's running as a VM, okay? Uh, deployment on the core, you can deploy it on another, you can deploy another power store on the core, let's say another, another X series, and you can do replication, okay? So part of your uh, data protection, data uh, disaster recovery solution as well, right? Although this one is not an HCI, this is an, an uh, again, just to, uh, to, uh, uh, to, to uh, tell you that this, not, this is not an HCI solution. HCI is different. It uses a software-defined uh, scale-out uh, storage as well. Right? Okay, through through vSAN, it's different. Okay, this one is uh, still a primary storage, but through Power Power Store uh, apps on feature. Okay, and with the use of uh, VMware ESXi running on the nodes, you can run uh, your VM directly. So through vCenter, right? You can uh, have this connected through vCenter, and you can do vMotion. Depending on your connectivity, okay, if it's a, a dark fiber connectivity between the edge and the core, you can have this uh, a sort of uh, stretch cluster similar to that one, or you can manage it. Right? You can move the VMs from from the edge 
to the core, from the core, okay, to the edge, and even to the cloud, okay. Meaning, if you you uh, deploy a VMware VCF, okay, you can have that kind of uh, environment, consistent management and infrastructure, okay. So uh, for data modernization, IT transformation, you can have this kind of environment. You can have an HCI within your class, within the core, within the uh, core data center, and then you have power store on the edge. You can integrate it through vCenter, and then you can move the VM from one side to the other side. Okay. So that's the beauty of our solution. Right? Again, through VMware Cloud Foundation, you can also move your VM, your workloads, on-prem or from the edge to the cloud. Okay. So this is how flexible it is. This is how adaptable okay, our solution is. Okay. So again, uh, part of uh, PowerStore adaptable architecture, we also have this anytime upgrade, okay? And we have flexible options. Uh, again, uh, this is a scale up and scale out, never migrate again. Okay, you don't rip and replace the traditional uh, thing that we're doing on our on previous uh, storage. So this one, you can do continuous innovation. You can just update the operating system. Okay, you can deploy and then independent, independently scale up and scale out. And we also have the data in place upgrades. Okay, meaning you just upgrade the nodes and even the software by and retaining the data within the array. Okay, so no downtime, no disruption, okay? So that's a uh, part of the uh, adaptable architecture design of our PowerStore series, okay? So both PowerStore X and T series uses a container, container-based operating system, okay? So we also have this built-in migration tool, okay, within our PowerStore. Example, you have your an old VNX or an SE series, you want to migrate to PowerStore. Okay, we have this uh, integration. Okay, we have this seamless migration capability okay? built in within our PowerStore. Actually, you can manage it, okay, your integration within the GUI itself. So there's a ma PowerStore manager, okay, you can uh, perform migration. <clears throat> but it, it can happen, okay, within the, within the array, or it can happen across platform, okay? You can do cross platform migration as well as mentioned here. Okay? So these are the models that you can uh, migrate. Okay? For third party brand, there's still a tool that we can use, just reach out to us, okay? So for the anytime upgrade feature and capability, okay? So it's part of our future proof loyalty program for our customer again. You can upgrade from one gen generation to another generation, okay? Uh, you can even scale out okay, by adding a new appliance. So uh, our promo, we ha we're having this promo. No? We're providing a discount on the second appliance. Uh, I have to double check if, if this one is applicable for in Philippines, but in some region, we already have this one. We call it anytime upgrade within the contract. No renewal. You don't have no. You don't have to, uh, to wait for the warranty to expire before you can uh, upgrade okay? or Okay, it's within the contract. Let's say you purchase our power store appliance after three months, you want to scale out. It can still be applied. Okay, so we have this flexible upgrade and uh, anytime in the contract. Okay, capability part of our future proof loyalty program. As you can see here, right? You can uh, you can uh, 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 upgrade to a new model. I mean, new higher generation. We call it data in place upgrade. Okay, so within the array itself within the appliance. And then you can uh, upgrade the node from Gen 1 to Gen 2, okay? So we also have uh, the technology services that you can also uh, leverage, okay? We have this uh, pro deploy migration, residency services, pro support, and uh, we also have this new optimized for storage services and support, okay? We also have consulting and education services. If you want to learn more, if you want to become uh, an administrator, a certified uh, engineer, okay, for Power Store, we can also cater to that too. Okay. Now, to summarize, our Power Store, it's designed for the data era. Okay, 
If you have questions, just reach out to us. Okay, uh, put it on the chat board. Okay. So again, data centric. We can support any types of workloads, whether platform two, right, traditional, platform three, next generation applications, and of course, performance optimization and efficiency because of our always inline data, data reduction, okay, the duplication. And ver this is one of one of the uh, intelligent infrastructure, right? Programmable and auto autonomous. This will be very much valuable for you okay, as an administrator and it's valuable for your organization as well. Less management task, right? And then of course, uh, adaptable, future-proofing your, your uh, investment. We can upgrade from one generation to another, okay? Uh, in terms of flexible consumption model, uh, we can also do that you know, through third-party leasing company. If you want to have uh, an OPEX type of uh, investment, then we can also cater to that. Okay. In summary, okay, so we have broad for portfolio. Okay, we make everything consistent and very easy to use for you, and the IT expertise of Dell Technologies. Okay, uh, as you all know, we have uh, solutions. For, we have we have client solutions, infrastructure solutions, and cloud solutions. So we can cover you, your IT transformation and the digital transformation, whether on the edge, on the core, on, on the cloud. Okay, We have the solution for you and we can help you out on your journey, transformation journey. Okay, Any questions so far? That's uh, that's the, the end of my presentation. Okay. Let me know if you have questions. So that ends my presentation. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, I'll turn over the, the virtual floor to our host.